Dog-to-dog interactions can sometimes be a tough thing, especially if you want the dogs to get along. Will they like each other? How could I best go about introducing them? These are some very good questions. Signs to look for. It is good to know a few bits of dog body language so that you can read the dogs being introduced. Good signs include loose gait and posture, a low wagging tail, and sniffing. Signs that the dogs are stressed include the dogs not making eye contact, licking their lips or nose, yawning, sniffing the ground, looking away, walking in a curve to greet the other dog. These are all calming signals they could be a sign that the dog displaying them is stressed or that the dog is trying not to be threatening to the other dog. Signs that the interaction is not and will not go well include a stiff gait, extra tall posture, an erect tail, growling, snapping, lunging, or hard stares. Neutral ground. When introducing dogs to each other it is best done on neutral ground. Ground that neither dog thinks he owns or needs to protect. A park or uninvolved neighbor's yard are good options. Having the dogs on leash is a good idea too. But be sure that you aren't putting any tension on the leash. This can be a signal to your dog that he should be tense. Allow the dogs to sniff. Read their body language to see if they are stressed, feeling threatened, or enjoying the encounter. Encourage and praise the dogs for good behavior. If all goes well move to the next step. Watch for positive dog body language. Since the dog introduction process begins with both dogs on leash, you'll need a partner that understands canine body language to help out. Watch the dogs for happy, waggy body language and interest in one another without hard stares, tense postures, freezing in place, or a lowered or tucked tail. Look for signs that one dog is trying to get away, which are often missed or misinterpreted. If your dog runs over to you, don't send them back into the fire because this is usually an indication that your dog needs a break from the interaction. If you're not comfortable with how the dogs are interacting during this first step, or you're unsure of what your dog's behaviors mean, enlist the help of a trainer during the introduction process. Walk the dogs together. After introducing a new dog, the next step is parallel walking with both dogs. They should be far enough apart that they're aware of each other, but not so close that they fixate on trying to reach one another. Walk both dogs in the same direction with a comfortable buffer of distance between them. Then, turn back and trade places with the other dog human team so that each dog has a chance to scent where the other dog walked. Allow the dogs to investigate potty spots, since urine sniffing is one of the ways dogs pick up information about other dogs. Both handlers should remain calm and keep their grip on the leashes as loose as possible. If both dogs are offering relaxed, social behaviors towards one another, gradually decrease the distance between them while continuing the parallel walking. Don't allow a direct face-to-face approach as the dogs get closer since head-on is a stressful and unnatural way for dogs to meet. Let the dogs determine the pace of the introduction. It's possible that the dogs will just want to play with each other by the middle of the walk. It's also possible that it will take more time before the dogs are comfortable enough to walk side by side. The most important thing is to take this introduction slowly. The more patient you are, the better your chance of success. Do not force the dogs to interact. Once the dogs are able to view each other at a close proximity, Allow one dog to walk behind the other, and then switch. If the dogs remain comfortable, allow them to walk side by side. Finally, let the dogs interact under close supervision. If one or both dogs show any signs of stress or agitation, proceed more slowly with the introduction. Allow the dogs to interact off-leash. If you feel comfortable with how the dogs are interacting, return to an enclosed area, drop the leashes, and allow them to interact. Give the dogs a few minutes to sniff one another while praising their calm interactions, and then encourage the dogs to continue moving with you for a final, brief walk together. At this point, the dogs might continue sniffing to learn more about each other, or they might begin playing. Look for the Universal Dog Invitation to Connect, a playbow where dogs put their elbows on the ground and rear end in the air. As the dogs play, watch for the signs of a respectful interaction, a mutual give and take with pauses in the action. Introducing a new dog to your home. After you introduce your new dog to your resident pet, you can introduce your new dog to your home. Instead of bringing both dogs inside right away, you should have a helper take your resident dog for a stroll. Then give your new dog a chance to check out his new living space alone. Keep an eye on your new dog as he investigates. When he's checked everything out, bring him to an open area of your home, away from the front door. Cramped spaces can lead to jockeying for position and accidental scuffles. Once again, pick up any dog toys, treats, beds, prized possessions, or food that could create tension between the dogs. Daily life after introducing a new dog. Try to keep your household calm as the dogs acclimate to one another. Don't throw a welcome to the family party on the first day home. 
maintain your resident dog's typical daily schedule, and try to set aside one-on-one -on -one time with each dog, like going for solo walks. Always be aware of signs of brewing tension between your dogs, like low growling, hard stares, and body blocking. If you notice any of these signs, you should intervene immediately. Separate the dogs and direct their attention to something else. Give them a break from one another for at least 20 to 30 minutes before allowing them to engage again. Here are some more important tips for keeping the peace after introducing dogs. Monitor mealtimes. Always separate your new dog and resident dog during mealtimes. You can either place their bowls in different rooms or use a dog gate to separate them. If one dog finishes first, don't allow him to hover as the other dog eats. To prevent tension, you should keep them apart until both dogs have licked their bowls clean. Always pick up the bowls after feeding time. Give each dog their own bed. Some dogs are possessive of their resting spaces, so watch to make sure both dogs are acting appropriately around their beds. Even if a bed is big enough for both dogs to share, it's a good idea to get a different bed for your new dog. Introduce toys slowly. Introduce toys back into the house slowly after the first introduction rather than bringing out the entire toy chest right away. Always supervise your dogs when they are trying out a new toy. Look for playful interactions without signs of guarding, like standing over the toy or snapping at the other dog if he gets too close to it. Separate the dogs when you're away. Alone time is an important aspect of the getting to know you process. Whether you're leaving the house for the day or just taking a shower, always separate your dogs when you can't watch them. This obviously keeps them safe, but it also provides them with downtime apart from one another. In the long term, it is always wise to supervise them together and separate them when no one is home. This will keep everyone safe and interactions more positive. Create playtime breaks. Many dogs don't understand when to say when, particularly if they're having a good time together. But that non-stop play can tip over into inappropriate behavior when dogs get overtired. Giving your dogs a break from one another allows them to relax and regroup. Create spaces for each dog so that they can be separated, either in different rooms or behind a dog gate. Dogs needs a break from their housemates, just like all of us do. Have patience. It can take months before your new dog and resident dog mellow into true comfort with one another, so have patience with them as they get used to siblinghood. Always acknowledge positive interactions between your dogs and enjoy watching the lifelong friendship bloom. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.